Good morning everyone. In this session we are going to discuss with unit number one, winter farm. The other is green ash. So let me give you a brief idea about urine and spin. It is already given in the text, page number 119. So let me give you. Urine and spin was a Russian writer who wrote short stories, newspaper articles and novels. However, he was most famous for writing screenplays. He often wrote about war, childhood memories and Russian history among other things. This is about urine and spin. A brief idea about urine and spin. Now let's go to the chapter. So before entering into the chapter, let us see the characters. The main characters of Pindarov, they are Anna, Vasilyevna and Samoski. These are the main characters of Winterhawk. Again I am repeating Anna, Vasilyevna and Samoski. These are the main characters of Pindarov. Now let's go to the first paragraph. Page number 110. Anna was given as first lesson was in form 5. Here form 5 means class 5. She is teaching in class 5. That's what it is given. Form 5. Okay. She had just finished college and now taught at the school in the village of Yoroka. It is already given Yoroka. That's the name of the village. After completing her college, she joined the, the village of And there she is teaching. Now taught at the school in the village of Europe. Then it is saying that she was a gifted teacher and people in Europe and all the nearby settlements thought highly of her. Highly of her means respected and admired someone. Okay, and so all are respecting this teacher. And also what is the quality of the teacher? Only it is given. She was a gifted teacher. And also all are highly Highly of okay, just forget, just forget. All the settlements thought highly of her, well, just forget, respecting her. Uh, and next one, next one, next line. That morning, as the bell sounded, that is a quite normal thing, okay, just like the natural things. When the bell sounded, the people rose. The people rose means all the students rose and he greeted her in unison. He greeted her means just like all are standing in one unison. So it's already one unison, speaking together at the same time. What is the word there? Like a greeter, good morning. That's it. When the bell sounded, the people rose, greeted her in unison, and took the seats. That's the normal thing. So, okay, this way when the teacher goes to the class, already we know, okay, all the students will cross, and after they give the greeting, good morning. That's same. So, that is about the first paragraph. Now, let's move to the second paragraph. Today, we shall go on with the parts of speech she did. After giving the greeting of all the students, greeted the teacher good morning after she started. Okay, just like it. The first class, okay, she started taking the class. So, second paragraph is about, okay, today we shall go with the parts of speech she did. That, okay, she started the, okay, she started teaching and this is the first, uh, just like uh, introducing, okay, just like uh, today we will just like discuss with the child, okay, and that's uh, today we are going to deal with parts of speech. That's what she did. Come to the next paragraph. A hush fell over the class and a rumbling of a heavy lorry along the highway outside could be easily heard. And when the teacher started teaching, all the class is in hush. Hush means already the meaning is given. Hush means complete silence. So because of the silence, they can hear the just like hear the minute sound. Okay? Just like hear the minute sound, rumbling. Okay, so they can hear the sound from outside of okay. you. What are the sound they can hear? It's already given. A hush fell over the class and the rumbling of a heavy lorry along the highway outside could be easily heard. Okay. They can hear the sound of the lorry outside. Why? Because the class is entirely silent. Okay, when she started taking the class. So that's why they can hear the sound from outside. Okay. That's why they can what the sound they can hear. It's already given the rumbling. Rumbling means the deep. The deep of a heavy lorry along the highway outside would be easily heard. Why they can hear the sound? Well, because of the silence. Hush. Sorry. Now come to the next one, paragraph 4. Anna was to record how anxious she had been before this lesson last year, like a schoolgirl before an examination, repeating over and over under her breath. A noun is a word used to call noun name. Okay. So before teaching this lesson, okay, she was thinking about her past days of okay. Anna was Nevana report how anxious she had been before this lesson last year, like a school girl. Okay? And so she was thinking about her school.
school days. Okay, how she learned all those things, and those are just like before the examination. Okay, I'm repeating over and over kind of her breath, and again she was repeating the word. The noun is a word that used for naming. This is only given a noun is a word used for naming. The memory not a smile to her lips, and so she was thinking about her past days. Okay, how she learned all those things. That she brought a smile to her lips. How she learned okay, that's why she was just like she uh, just like she brought up okay, the memory brought a smile to her lips. And she began in a smooth calm tone. Okay, just like she wanted to just start the class. Okay, just like what is now. She wanted to explain the class. What is now? And suddenly what happened? Just then a voice may come. Just like a sudden voice. Okay, just like she wanted to start the class. She was about to start and suddenly the voice said, "May I come?" And come to the next fifth paragraph. A smile, okay, a small figure stood in the half-open door. The cold, bitter face, blazing like a beetroot, laid again some skin. Here we can see the next character, some skin already. The first paragraph already we have seen the first character, Anna was there, and in the fifth paragraph we have seen the next character, some skin. A small figure stood in the half open door. That means the half open door. The cold metal face blazing like a beetroot. What does it mean? Blazing like a beetroot. That means just like the we can see the chin. Okay, now his face is blazing like a beetroot. We can see the red part. Okay? That is a blazing like a beetroot. Late again, sour skin. And suddenly the teacher asked the sour skin. Late again, sour skin. That is a like most young teachers, Anna was never and liked to be strict, but her question this time was filled with the disappointment. Okay, that means this time the teacher became very disappointed. Why? Because he is continuing the action again and again. So that's why. Like most young teachers, Anna was never and liked to be strict. Actually, she wanted to be strict, but this time she became very disappointed because she became very sad. Why? The reason is, Savoski is repeating the action again and again because he used to come late again. That's it. Okay, next one, come to the sixth one. Taking her words to be permission to enter, Savoski rapidly slipped to his seat. Okay, and also already the teacher turned, okay, gave the permission. Then after taking her words to be permission to enter, Savoski rapidly, very fastly, okay, just like he moved and slipped to his seat. Okay. And that's where he is placed, he rushed to the place. Now come to the seventh paragraph. Anna was never was upset by Savoski coming late. It had spoiled a well begun day. And also she is very, okay, she was very disappointed. Why? The reason is Savoski coming late. Okay, and also one more thing is said, okay, it had spoiled a well begun day. So the day is already gone. That's why. Anna was there was upset. Already we can ask the question why she was upset. We can answer the question because so was in coming late and it got spoiled day. Well, you know, that's why she was upset. Next one, she thought of the geography teacher who had first complained of so was in tardiness. What is the meaning of tardiness? It's already given. The quality of being late or slow. That's it. Already the geography teacher complained about the suppose game because he used to come later. Okay, that's about the tardiness of suppose game. Next one, she complained of the noise of inattentive pupils and the difficulty of handling first lesson. And also what she complained? The geography teacher. The geography teacher complained of the noise. Why? The noise. We can simply think about the noise because if anybody is coming late, automatically the students will make noise. Because of that, the teacher cannot take the class. And next one, because of that reason, the student became and students are inattentive and the difficulty of handling the first lesson. And also the first period will be, and also the first lesson will be very difficult if anybody is coming late. And also that's why the teacher just like a changed the change in the class. It's already given. So Anna was given a swap. What is the meaning swap? It is already given exchange lessons with her. Okay, and also that's why uh, Anna was there swapped 
lessons with the geography teacher. That's it. And next one, next line we can see. So now what we have swapped the lessons with here because of noise and inattentive students. Okay, and also the people became very inattentive because if anybody is coming late, or automatically the entire section will be inattentive and they will make noise. And controlling is very difficult. Okay, that's why. And now what we have swapped the lessons with the geography teacher. And next one. After all, first few lessons were only difficult for those that couldn't control the class or make lessons interesting. And also the teacher. Next one, whatever the condition, the teacher has to make the lessons interesting and also controlling the students. Okay, whatever the situation, if anybody is coming late, automatically then the section will be okay disturbed and also they will make noise and most probably they will be inattentive. Okay, so whatever. The situation, the teacher has to make the situation okay in a normal level. Okay, that's why she is known as a gifted teacher. Okay, the first paragraph already has in. Okay, she was a gifted teacher. Okay, she can control. Okay, and also she can handle in every situation. And next one. But now there was suppose he allowed us she was. She had to continue the lesson. Already, she was very angry because when she was angry, because Savoskin used to come late every day. Okay, so annoyed as she was, she was already angry, but she had to continue the lesson. Okay, because if she is just like a focusing only, the student automatically it will affect the entire session. So whatever the situation, she had to continue the lesson. So she is continuing the lesson. So come to the next one, paragraph eight. Clear. She is continuing the class. So she addressed the class. Clear. Did they post him? Are you clear? It's just like a follow. Okay, just like a following. Now, okay. So she is continuing the chapter. Okay. Is it clear? She is asking to the students. Then what is the reply of the teacher? Clear. Clear. A chorus came by. Chorus means all are telling together. Yes, it's clear. She is telling about now. Okay, what is now? Now we say. Naming words is it clear? She is asking to the students. And what is the reply of the students? Yes, clear. clear. Then ten to one, five. Make up examples of your own. Then okay. Then after okay, we are telling in a unison. Okay, we are telling together. It's clear, clear, clear. Then the teacher asked to the students five. Then do one thing. Make up examples of your own. Then and you know what? It was quiet for a moment. And suddenly it was a quiet for a moment. And when she said, "Okay, so can you give some examples?" Then suddenly all the students, okay, so they, okay, they were quiet for a moment. And then suddenly, paragraph told, "Cat said the okay, said a small voice and said the okay. name." So for a moment, all the class, okay, all the class, they became silent. And suddenly, okay, somebody from okay among them once said, "Cat." Said a small voice answered, and then in paragraph, right you are. And now was Leona said the ice was broken, and when one started automatically, the entire section started answering one by one. Okay, so that is the next one. Like you can do table and one by one like this. This is already given. Paragraph fourteen, window, table, house. Road, okay. So that's only really this given. The ice was broken. The ice was broken means all the students started answering. Okay, when one started, automatically the entire section started. Okay, they understood. That is right. This is right. So automatically this. Okay, answered like this. Window, table, house, road, like this. And now come to the next one. Ah, uh, paragraph fifty. So the paragraph fifty cut. She gave the reply. Correct. Anna was even a kept repeating. The class brimmed over with the joy. Okay. And also the correct. She said correct. Anna was even a kept repeating. The class brimmed. What's the meaning? Brimmed. It is already given. Overflowed. Okay. They overflowed with the joy. And she was surprised at how satisfied the school children were from naming familiar objects as though seeing them in a new, unusual light. Okay. And also. The students are very happy, and also she was surprised because just like this is the new time, and also the students are very active, and also they are getting the answers. So she was very 
surprised and she was very satisfied by their answers of okay? because actually just like they are telling lord of answers that's why ask for seeing them in a new unusual light they named more and more things but those first few minutes were reserved for the most familiar objects wheel tractor when the piano so all the students are answering the most familiar objects of it is like you wheel tractor well okay so that is about the noun okay already she was teaching what is the noun okay and so what are the noun okay just giving you some examples so all are telling nouns okay so that's all okay so we will continue the lesson after so with this i will end this lesson we will continue the lesson thank you